Hello, welcome again. Uh, let's continue our conversation about goof proof. Memo me. What is memo me stands for? Memo me stands for mention early, mention often, mention every time. That's what it stands for. So you're gonna mention the, the you know the uh, the goof proof early in your conversation with the customer. As soon as you greet that customer through the door. And you, you, if, if you have a moment to engage the customer and explain the placard to that customer, mention that there is a protection plan, there is a goof proof that covers all accidental damages in the next five years for all the products that we sell it here. Just mention a little bit. Mention early in your conversation. Mention often. Mention every time you are selling a piece or you are showing a product to the customer. So you're gonna mention, keep mentioning throughout the sales process. For example, if the customer is looking for a living room, dining room, and maybe a bedroom. When you are in the living room and you're explaining the customer the features and the benefits of that particular set, explain the goof as well. Mention the goof. Mention the features and that, that the, of the sofa, mention the accidents that could happen and how we cover it. For example, if the customer is looking for a white sofa, explain to them it's a nice, beautiful sofa. If your concern is about stainless or anything like that, the protection plan covers for that five years, all kind of stains. We will come and clean it to the factory standard. If we can't clean it, we're gonna replace it and give you a brand new sofa. When you go to the dining, you do the same thing. Talk about the table, the features and the benefits. You may be talking about liquid marks, heat marks on the table. If that happens, the five years protection plan covers. We're going to come and replace it for you or we'll fix it to the factory standard. You go to the bedroom, again you're going to explain. You show in that dresser, nice dresser. You open those drawers and you said if these drawers are broken, you offer staff the drawers and they are broken for an accident. We'll come and fix it to the factory standard. If we can't fix it, we'll replace it for you. That mirror on the dresser, get the scratches and you you know you can't see yourself, the goof proof coverage for that. So you're mentioning the goof early in your conversation, often, like every time you're talking to the customer about the product and every single time. So you're building the value by talking about every single time that you are mentioning a feature about the set, try to weigh in your goof presentation as well. Do not sound like you are selling, just mention again, tell the story, do not sell it, okay? You we don't push the information to the customer, we notch the information, okay? So just do that. How do you do the presentation? Number one, you give the tear sheet. That is a tear sheet that you will, uh, we're gonna show you what it looks like, which lists the, all the benefits that the, uh, you know, the goof covers. Um, so give the tear sheet to the customer. When you give that tear sheet to them, um, you go also explain again, unlimited home services. Like there is no fees if, if you have a problem, Customer, you know, the technician has come to your home with no charges and they will fix your product with no, uh, with no charges. There is no parts that you need to buy. No parts that you need to buy. If you buy a reclining sofa and the motor and the reclining is, mechanism is broken, we will come and give you the parts and we're going to fix it. Labor is free. No labor. There is no deductible. So let's say you, have, you bought that reclining and we changed the reclining mechanisms and it cost us about $160, including the labor. We will not deduct that one from your protection plan that you paid before. So no deductible, no labor fees, no parts fees, and no service fees, nothing. It's unlimited in-home service for five years. That's how you build the value for selling the protection plan. One-time replacement, if we determine that we cannot fix the piece to the factory standard, we're going to replace you for full value. 
the full value for the sofa or maybe for the item that you purchase it. We, you have also the option to keep the old one. Great option. Let's say you bought that sofa. We can't replace it. We don't have it. We'll give you a new sofa or we'll give you a, the value of the sofa. And you have the option to keep the old one as well. Best way to build a value. Okay. Delivery charge. Delivery at no charge. So let's say you, we, we, we couldn't replay, we couldn't fix the sofa. We're going to deliver a new one. There is no delivery charge. We will deliver to your home. If you want us to remove the old one, we will take the old one as well. If you want to keep it, it's your option. You build the value that way. Okay? Share your experiences. If you have some success stories, one of your customers, share with them. Give them hypothetical examples. If the customer, for example, gives you an objection about a dining room table that you were selling, and they were like, ah, you know, I don't think that I will, I will need the protection plan because it's a nice hardwood table. Give them an example. You got that party, somebody puts in a, on, on, a, on, a, on, a, on something on, on drinks on the table. You got a spill on the chair, that, you know, nice fabric. Give them hypothetical examples, okay? All right, um, how do you handle concerns if the customer gives you an objection? Okay, the best way to give the, uh, the uh, you know, to overcome objection is, is to use the Bob's name during your presentation. Don't use your name, don't use any, any other name. Use the Bob's name. Bob wants you to do this. So use the Bob's name often. Get there first. What I mean by that is that um, you need to preempt the objections. Come up, try to preempt all the objections. If you explain all the all the objections that will come, it will be just fine. If the customer is still resisting and you see that you cannot close it, TO, TO means that transfer to a manager. It's a team opportunity. Let the manager know, manager is going to come and help you out to close that deal or to overcome that objection. Okay? The other one, identify the smoke screen objection. As we talked about that one before, can I think about it? That's one of the smoke screen objections. Can I add it later? Another smoke screen objection. When they give you those kind of objections, you could say something like this. I understand you want to be sure you are making the right decision, but can I ask you a question? Is there something in particular which worries you about this program? I might be able to address that concern right now. Ask you that question. When they say, oh, can I ask, can I add it later, and you see, and you ask it that question, that they may not give you any reason. And then you simply come back and ask them, so why not add it right now? It's a lot easier if you have, if you have no concern and the program sounds well, why don't you add it now? Okay? Um, you need to raise the bar a little bit. Raise the bar, which means that do not become complacent. Strive to improve at all times because that's who we are. That's how you increase your paycheck. That's how you increase, you know, your performances. Strive. Don't be complacent. Positive peer pressure. Learn from the peers. If one of you, if your friend is good at selling protection plan, listen to him. Learn from him. Learn from her. That is the way you, that's how you build your performance and you, you improve your, your performance. Self-assessment. Always evaluate your mistakes. If you make a mistake, learn from the mistake. Identify your strengths and keep repeating the strengths. Take an action to improve your weaknesses and repeat the good things that you have your strengths to produce more positive results at the end of the day. Okay? All right. Thank you so much. And we will see you in the next video.